Yeah, for sure. Now, let me ask you about the Lakers' current point guard situation with Dennis Schroeder. Uh, the Lakers allegedly offered him a, a deal, Brian, and he turned that deal down. What do we know about that situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Schroeder is limited to how much he can extend for. He can extend between now and the end of the year uh, for four years and $84 million. That is about what Fred Van Vliet signed for with the Toronto Raptors last year. So it's actually not a bad comparison. But the discussions so far with Schroeder and the Lakers on that extension have not borne fruit. And the expectation with executives in the league is it's because Schroeder would like more than that $84 million that the Lakers can offer. It's not that they don't think he's worth more than that. They just can't offer more than that. So there's going to be what it looks like right now. Things could change hour to hour. But it looks like Schroeder is probably headed for unrestricted free agency. The Lakers knew that and had talks about trading for Kyle Lowry. Um, whether or not that makes a difference, we'll see. But those things are facts. They had discussions with about Kyle Lowry, and they haven't extended Schroeder, and it bears watching. Well, you know, one thing I hate to comment on is guys, you know, getting their letters and getting their money, right? Because this is what you come to the NBA for, first and foremost. You have a love for the game, but it's a job, and you come to get as much money and the top dollar that you possibly can before your career is over with. But I will say this, and I wish, I, I wish Richard Jefferson was on here right now <laughs> because this goes back to my point of saying this is why the Lakers, in my opinion, should have went in all in for Kyle Lowry. Like, you got to go grab him, especially when Dennis Schroeder has declined and turned down contract extensions. Like I said, he was saying Kyle Lowry was a rental, but this is a rental right here as well, and I just don't know. I mean, you know, he's going to have to live up to it. And another point, when a guy's playing for a contract, it can either go good or go bad. It's no in-between because a guy has that in the back of his mind. And sometimes it can hinder and hurt the team because you're trying to win the championship, but also this guy's fighting for a contract, another contract, and trying to make sure that he, he keeps up and his numbers are up to par individually so he could get the top dollar. So this is why I would have made the trade and got Kyle Lowry. And this is why you were right, and Richard is always wrong, Perk. That's yeah. the reality of it. And I know if you're watching Richard somewhere in your sweatpants, maybe you're still wearing a jacket because you're just weird <laughs> like that. Perk was right, you were wrong. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.